Here is the cheap Cobra FS380CB. I'm guessing the CB stands for chrome something. Oh, chrome black. Yeah, grips are black. But anyways, $149. The uh, cheap guns. <laughs> Everybody talks about them, how cheap they are, and I just had to go buy one and see how they really are in person. But they are pretty cheap. Look how it's like a mirror finish. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Very cheap. Magazine is really cheap. Press fit magazine <clears throat> punch down. You can see right here my thumb is the top of my thumb. They punched it down with the machine, and then when they join the sides of the clip magazine together, it's punched too. My camera's not so great, so you can't really tell, but it's punched. <clears throat> and this damn thing is fucking heavy. Let me tell you. Really heavy. <clears throat> Weighs just about as much as a 1911 does. I ain't kidding. It's heavy. <laughs> but the manual <clears throat> is pretty simple. Nice and lock. The cheap little manual. Can't really. Camera doesn't like to focus, but uh, manual doesn't really tell you a whole lot. Says it, it comes with a lifetime warranty, but will they be around in 50 years? I doubt it. I doubt they'll make it 10 years. But hey, if they do, so be it. Uh, It doesn't really tell you in the book how to take it down, but I figured how to do it. You gotta pull the slide back about half an inch. And you gotta take like a, I don't know, even a ballpoint pen will work. You just gotta push this in where the firing pin is. And the slide will pull back. Not forward, back. And then of course you're greeted by a stamp metal cartridge ejector right there. It's not it's stamped. This is a stamped piece of metal. The frame and the barrel are all press fit. Everything's cast. There's no hardened anything on this gun. It's just one big cast piece of metal. And it's not really all that great inside either. I mean, the slide is pretty rough for the cast. It really didn't deburr anything. Springs are cheap in it. Firing pin is even cheaper. It's, I don't even know what the hell it is. It looks like it's made out of aluminum, but it's not. I'm sure it's something else, but it's a cheap gun. I haven't shot it yet, so I don't really know. But, but that's it. <coughs> One heavy. Yeah, it's like a paperweight. <laughs> One heavy ass paperweight. <coughs> I think the box is nicer than the gun, actually. <laughs> the lock. Yeah, at least the lock has a Cobra on it, right? Yeah, but if you're poor and you can't afford a real gun, I'm sure it'll get the job done. Not everybody can afford a five or six hundred dollar gun like a Glock or Smith and Wesson, but they get the job done, I'm sure. There's videos on YouTube of people shooting them, and they seem to shoot okay. <coughs> Don't expect high quality for hundred fifty dollars. Although you could get a decent single shot Heritage for twenty for around hundred and twenty five bucks. You're looking for a reliable uh, 
you know, 22 or something. But definitely cheap, for all I can say.